Let's look at the Digibase browsers inside of Pro Tools, which are essentially a uh, collection of file browsers that are geared towards audio work. So to find them, go to your window menu inside of Pro Tools and look for the menu item that says Workspace. And that gives you a file browser. It looks a little bit uh, generic. Uh, things may be hard to see at this size that I'm recording this at, but I'll try to zoom in. And what this does is it, uh, in the Workspace browser, uh, it gives you a listing of all the hard drives that are attached to your computer, whether they're internal or external, flash drive, firewire, etc. And you can also go into these drives and browse amongst the folders. So let me go to where I have some audio files located. So the nice thing about this is as soon as I click on a audio file, it will play it back if I have it set to automatically play back, or I can just press a little speaker up in this top area. It gives me a signal meter to let me know roughly where the uh, peak amplitude is for that, that file. And if I need to, I can take items and drag them from the browser into my regions list. And then the nice thing about this is that they automatically get added to my project and they go into my audio files folder if I have that option set correctly inside of preferences. And it's a good way to work. It's pretty fast. And if you need to go listen to a bunch of files, uh, you know, you can just use your up and down arrow keys and go through uh, and preview a bunch of files uh, in a short amount of time. So that is the workspace browser. Uh, parallel to that, we also have the project browser, which when you open it up, looks very similar to the Workspace browser, but the difference is, is it goes directly to your audio files project. And the difference, uh, the big difference is that you get waveforms that are drawn and show you uh, what the amplitudes, well, well, really the signals look like of your, um, your files. So you can see, for example, I can tell because of uh, how these waveforms are drawn that this sound is probably distorted. And again, it also plays back when I click on it. And then the other thing that's neat about it is that when you click within the waveform, you can actually have it start somewhere specific to where you click your mouse. So those are the basics of the uh, browsers. Uh, one other thing that you have with the project browser is that if you have files that are missing, you have the option here to re relink the offline files or relink selected if you need to uh, update those. So if you have further questions about it, come and see me. This is a very useful tool, especially on larger projects.